What's up everybody? It's your boy Wes Grant. You're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This channel where I give my nerd reviews on today's TV episodes. But uh, today's nerd review is on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 7. The last episode, which I'll give you a little quick wrap up, pretty much how Fitz uh, got back to the future. Um, well, got, got to the past. Nope. He came from the past, got to the future, then he got himself in as like one of the like, worst bad guys or renegades, or whatever, in the, in the world. I'm um, in the in the space. Uh, he found his way to Gemma Simmons and also with Quake or Daisy. Pretty much got this whole thing gone. He put up a ruse. At the end, he straight up murked some dudes, shot the shield, jumped off. Save Simmons, uh, Quake, Daisy, they got out of the arena, and that's pretty much where it left off. So, this thing is starting off right after that, where pretty much um, the brother that is the older brother of the main bad guy, uh, Cassius, uh, the brother pretty much is in, he's pissed off that his, this, this, his yo younger brother let this all happen. And you're talking. <clears throat> And um, pretty much the bro, the brother pretty much decides to take over. He's like, "You're not doing it well. You're not, you're not handling none of this. Yo, I got my, my got my dude. He, we're gonna just uh, take out these people." And um, uh, what's what's that? I forget what the guy's name is, but uh, the brother takes over with uh, Mass Mass Din. Mass Dentor, whatever. What's crazy ass alien name? Regardless of the fact. He tells his bodyguard or whatever to go and go after Daisy Quake. While this is happening, the, you know, you can see it all this going down. And then it, it changes over. You see May because she got left up on the planet's surface. And then that's when the, 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 the alien that took over the form of one of the Kree, uh, blue guy, his name is Enoch. But apparently he's a sentient Chronicon, which sounds like a Decepticon. Octicon? I don't know what, but it is a con. Um, but so he goes and tells May. He says, like, yo, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you, Daisy. I, I came with Fitz. And, you know, uh, Cole, um, Colson, basically. And then she was like, what? Say that again. And she realized that he was the guy that pretty much sent them all to the future. She was a little pissed off. But stuff started happening because he had saved her life, actually, by killing one of these, like, alien-looking things that they introduced in the first episode. But... Then that's when this major storm started happening. While the storm is happening, somehow she gets grabbed up, and then she starts floating up. It's like a gravity storm, uh, which is what they called it. And then while this is going down, Flint f um, finds out from you know Jojo, uh, yeah, Yo-Yo, uh, Coulson, and Mac that his friend Tess she she died. Uh, died protecting him. Uh, I guess she didn't say what they wanted to say. I guess they found out maybe she was hiding him because in the last episode or whatever, he unlocked as a, a you know, he got turned into a inhuman, but then they didn't want to give him up. But, you know, she died being a friend. Um, Mac tries to talk to him, but, you know, ain't trying to listen. Uh, Cassius argues with his bro a little bit more. Uh, basically, the, the brother says that you're weak. You ran away from the fight. You, uh, the the female that you have is your is your guard. You care more about her than than what uh, you know than what you should be caring about. As a warrior, you should have stayed there and like fought to the end and died. Which I guess apparently his father sent him on a mission, or whatever, to take over something. But uh, it, things went wrong, and then everyone else died around him, and he happened to survive. So the brother's saying, "You're a weakling. You're you're a wimp. You should have stayed to the end. You didn't. You came back home. So therefore, we have no respect for you." And then at the same time, uh, Sonara, which is uh, Cassius's bodyguard, she's pissed off at him because she she allowed she allowed the brother to manipulate him into having Daisy, which is Quake, fight you know Sonara, which you know her right his his uh, his bottom bitch, <laughs> I guess what you call it. But regards, I'm sorry for the language, but um, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, all this happened. Fitz gets shot because uh, uh, the bodyguard. Uh, let's call him. Mastid, Mastid, uh, that's what we're gonna call this, uh, the, the brother's bodyguard, he finds them, 
because they're trying to get away. You know, it's, he had there was this one scene where they're in the elevator and then they go up and then the guy stops the elevator and then when he gets to inside the elevator, some like random people, as like, servants, were walking by and then like I don't know why he would think that they know that you know it's. Like, they knew something about it, and he was like, where are they? He was like, I don't know, kills, kills him. And then he goes to the girl, he's like, where are they? I'm like, why did you kill the guy and not the girl? If you're, like, so, like, I don't I don't understand. That was one, one of my things. I'm like, you're just, you're just at this point, trying to show how mean and ruthless this guy is. When there was no point. If you're going to kill them, kill both of them. Don't leave one for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Uh, be equal killist, <laughs> you know? So, um... Then, so they so they get away, and then all of a sudden, the guy finds them by going to the level, so, uh, what's his name gets shot, Fitz gets shot, Daisy goes and still whips his ass because she has no powers because apparently the thing took it out, took all their powers out, so that's where they go, uh, then while they're running, the guy with the mask from the, the episode, we didn't see him in the last episode, the one that pretty much got Daisy captured, but, um, he... Well, he, he you know had to prove himself. Whatever they don't they don't believe him. He gets them back over to the uh, Colson and um the gang meets up. Flint turns himself in because he doesn't want anybody else to die. But except he comes with some rocks in his hand in his pocket. And then when he finds out that yo they just gonna still be mean or whatever, he pretty much turns into a spike. Bam! This it's very graphic. Boom! Right into the guy's head, into the Kree's head. And the guy dies. And then. He's about to take out the other guy and then gets knocked over the head, knocked out by Sonora, uh, the bodyguard. And the, they were like, should we, what should we do with him? She was like, he's going to be the bait. He's going to be the bait for Coulson and the rest of them. But it doesn't turn out the way she wants. Somehow, they figure out a way to ambush her. And then that's when all of a sudden the other, body, uh, the other bodyguard comes in, starts shooting up. They start fighting. They get away. They get into a room. Door's locked. The boy uses some rocks to um, block, block the doorway. And then the guy whips out some big ass gun. I don't know from where. Starts shooting holes in the wall. And then he, uh, while that's happening, they're like, "Yo, how are we gonna get out?" They came up with the idea to use the guy's gravity thing to float up, to go up to shoot to the upper levels. Um, right when the guy, the the uh, the the, bro, uh, the bros bodyguard, uh, Mad Mattis or whatever his name is, is about to blow it open. That's when the girl, our girl Sonara, she takes the chance and then straight up kills him with her little balls uh then she goes in there sees that they went up top that's when uh they're they're gonna they're about to go onto the ship uh they're trying to figure out who can fly the kid flint he can fly but he's sticking back behind because he wants to protect the people and then that's when mac decides to stay and when mac stays yo-yo stays so then they decide that they're gonna go down and uh <clears throat> you're gonna go down and just find it but before they go, Fitz is like, yo, uh, if you need, you're going to need to get uh, the weapons. I left some weapons in here a while ago. It's on level level three. And then they're like, level three is where all the aliens are. Like, why did you leave it? And he was like, I'm sorry. But he made his own sense. He was like, I'm sorry. Who came to get you and save you guys through time and space itself and waited? He was like, no, no, no. I, I, I appreciate it, bro. I'm sorry. I appreciate it. What's well, damn right, yo, Fitz. Fitz did all this, not, well, for Gemma, mostly. It ain't really for them. He does care about them, but it was all Gemma he was really going for. Um, he'll do anything for her. Like he showed in episodes, the dude will do anything for her. Uh, so then, that's when they're going down. And then it goes over to, uh, how you say, the, the brother. The brother and Cass, Cassius are talking. And then that's when the girl, Sonara, rolls up. She all look all badass, whatever. Like, okay, what's going on? They were like, "Yo, where's, yo, where are the, where's, you know, the, you know, Quake?" And uh, she's like, "She escaped." And then we're like, "Okay, I'm gonna have my, like, yo, get a, a, a ship." Uh, and she was like, "They escaped to the surface because apparently they have friends." He was like, "All right, we're gonna get a ship. My bodyguard's gonna go." He was like, "Yo, wh where's my bodyguard?" And she was like, "He's dead." And he's like, "Yo, uh, what happened?" And she was like, "I killed him." And then that's when two was like, "What?" He laughed. He was like, you know what? I knew you had some balls or whatever. You deserve a better person to protect than my brother right here. Come along with me. I mean, and I it gets like, I don't know if this is part of her plan to have Cassius become a man and stand up to his fucking brother. My bad. Sorry the language. But then he just takes a, um, he takes a knife that was on the end of the gu gun and stabs him. 
the guy goes down. He was like, see, you're a coward, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, how did you stab me from the front? He was like, I'll stab you. He stabbed me from the back. I was like, I'll stab you from the front. And he stabs him right in the chest. And he goes up to uh, Sonora. Uh, Cassius goes up to Sonora. Basically says that, yo, all right, this is the plan. We're going to get Quake and the rest of them. Then we're going to bring him to my father and say that we avenged the brother because they killed him. And then we'll be rightfully on the air because now he has no brother to have to compete with. So I'm down for that. Uh, everything seems pretty cool. And then the next, at the end, you, uh, you know, at the end of S.H.I.E.L.D., they always have that one little couple minutes. And that's when May, she wakes up with the e Enoch. And then she's like, where are we? And I guess they're in a S.H.I.E.L.D. base because you see S.H.I.E.L.D. on, on uh, one of the beams. And then that's when the, the girl, little girl with the... um. She's been waiting, so I don't know how old she would be, though. I think it's 70 years in the future, something like that. But, yeah, so she gives her the uh, a wooden bird that was carved for her, and that's how we know who she is. So I've seen a preview. Preview looks okay uh, for the next episode. Uh, still a lot of questions, and then she was like, it all ends today. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to let you guys know that today's episode was a decent episode. It wasn't as good as last yeah, last week's episode. Last week's episode... I would probably give, I think I gave it a B plus or maybe an A. This episode, uh, it was a lot to take on. I guess I'd give it a B minus. It wasn't bad. Had some funny moments. Didn't have a shock value like the other episode. Uh, but I still did enjoy it. Like, you kind of knew that the kid was going to turn himself in and all this stuff. But th he had a plan. So I give him that. So for the most part, I did like it. I always like seeing Fitz on the screen now, whatever. So that's always a positive. Uh, Mac, there wasn't too much for Mac and Yo-Yo. You didn't see them that much, except for Mac trying to talk to the kid and relate to him. So other than that, it, like I said, it was an okay episode. Oh, hopefully you like this review. I know it's all spoilers, but, you know, that's what you came. You wanted someone to talk to, someone that you could kind of hear about the show. And uh, that's what I'm here to do. I do it for other shows. And remember, I've got a daily show, or I try to do it at least daily. I've been sick, you know, this past week or whatever. But I try to do a daily show of uh, nerd news, anything that's happened in superheroes, sci-fi, Star Wars, all this stuff on TV, whether or movies. I kind of give you guys my, my views on it. And bring it to you. So remember to uh, just subscribe, check out the last episode, and maybe to check out the playlist of all the other shows that I've reviewed. And remember, I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd. You've just been nerdified. Catch you guys tomorrow on oh, next video.